Hi friends, today let us consider the treatment of interest on capital and interest on drawings in final accounts. The first one is interest on capital. As we know, capital is the amount invested by the trader in the business. In other words, we can say that uh, this is the amount for which uh, the owner of the business has certain claim in the business. Definitely, if that amount is invested in some other avenues, the trader might have earned a certain income, at least by way of interest. Now by investing that amount in the business unit, the trader lost that alternative income. Therefore, the real profit of the concern can be arrived at only after setting off the income lost by way of at least interest. Therefore, the business units will provide it as a charge in the PL account so as to arrive at the real profit. So, for example, there is a profit of rupees 50,000 in a business concern. And the capital invested by the trader is rupees 2 lakhs. Here, this rupees 50,000 cannot be considered as the real profit because the trader lost an alternative income. That is by way of interest if it was deposited with a bank at least attracting a minimum interest rate of 7 percentage. That means sir, the trader lost interest to the tune of 7 percentage of rupees 2 lakhs sir, that comes 14,000. So, though there is a profit in the business concerned to the extent of rupees 50,000, the trader lost an alternative income of rupees 14,000. Therefore, we can say that the real income from the business or the real profit of the business is only rupees 36,000. That is 50,000, the total income minus the alternative income lost, that is 14,000, that the remaining balance is 36,000. So, in order to arrive at this will be 36,000, that is the real income of the real profit. Provision should be made in the profit and loss account for interest on capital as an expense. It simply means uh, interest on capital should be charged in the profit and loss account as an expense. Now let us consider the treatment of this particular item namely interest on capital while preparing the final accounts. The treatment of this item also depends upon the place where that particular item appears in the question. It may be given as a piece of information that means as an adjustment below the account balances below the trial balance. Or it may be given in the trial balance itself. Let us consider the first case that is it is given as an adjustment. It is given as an adjustment. Whenever this item is given in the adjustment, it conveys that it is not so far considered while preparing the trial balance or it is not entered in the books of accounts so far. Now it should be recorded. It should affect two accounts. That is why it will appear at the two places in the final accounts. What are the two places where this particular item appears? The first one is, it should be shown 
as an expense in the profit and loss account with a view to arrive at uh, the correct profit or loss of the concern, the real profit of the business concern. The second one is, actually it is not paying. It becomes payable, that means it will be accumulated in the capital account of the trader. Hence, it should be added to the capital in the balance sheet. And supplies it may be given in the trial balance. If it is given in the trial balance, that means that item is already recorded. So, it need be taken only at one place. Where it is to be taken. It should be taken on the debit side of the profit and loss account as an expense. Then the second item. That is invest on drawings. In the rust on drawings. This is my drawings. This is the amount which is taken by the trader from the business for his own purpose, not for business purpose. If the trader is eligible to get invest on his contribution into the business, namely capital, he is also liable to pay invest for his uh, withdrawals. He is taking certain amount or certain valuables from the business concern upon which uh, he is liable to pay invest to the concern. Hence, uh, the invest on drawings from the point of view of the business is an income to be accounted in the profit and loss account. How it is to be dealt with in the final accounts. This item can also be given either in the adjustment or in the trial balance. And the treatment will differ depending upon the place where the particular item appears. If it appears in the adjustment, it is to be taken at two places. The first place is on the credit side of the profit and loss account. Then the second place. Whenever the interest on drawings is considered, its impact is that drawings will be enhanced or increased to that much extent. Therefore, it should be shown as an addition to drawings, ultimately deducting from the capital account in the balance sheet. Hence, in short, we can say that uh, invest on drawings will be deducted from capital in the balance sheet. But whenever it is given in the trial balance, that means it is already adjusted in the drawings account. So, no need for further addition to drawings or deduction from capital. Hence, it is to be credited in the profit and loss account. The treatment of interest on capital and interest on drawings can be summarized here. The first one is interest on capital. It can be given either in the adjustment or in the trial balance. If it is given in the adjustment, it should be debited in the PL account and also it should be added to capital account in the balance sheet. Instead, if that item is given in the trial balance, it should be debited only in the profit and loss account, only at one place. And with regard to interest on drawings, it can also be given either in the adjustment or in the trial balance. If it is given in the adjustment, it is to be taken at two places. The first one is, it is to be credited in the profit and loss account and it should be deducted from capital account in the balance sheet. But if that item is given in the trial balance, it need be taken only on the credit side of the profit and loss account. Thank you.